All right, boys and girls. This old pop-pop here. Underneath the old vet. As you can see, we're fixing the power steering. Those of you that are not familiar with these old vets, right up in here, that's the control valve. I'm sorry if I sound a little winded. I'm having a few medical problems, which is giving me some breathing problems right now. That's why I haven't been making very many videos. But this right here is the steering ram. And what the valve does is when you turn, it's connected directly to your steering arm off your steering box and it turns a little deal up in the very top which sends fluid through the lines and pushes the ram or pulls the ram whichever way it, you're turning and it's power assisted that way well mine's been leaking and it's given up as you can tell the old car not real clean underneath the motor leaks a little oil, and of course it's been leaking a bit and uh anyway we're just trying to get this fixed today it's about 43 degrees right now so it is a little on the cool side but it's got to be done because old jeep i've either got a broken rocker arm or a bad lifter or a flat lobe on the cam i don't know which i ain't felt up to pulling it apart either to check it and this is the easier fix no matter what is the problem with the Jeep. Because this has a bolt that, or a nut there that you take loose. And of course you can see that one's already loose. It connects to the frame. And it's just got those two hoses right there that are draining right now. Uh, just working on getting all the old fluid drained out of her. And yes, I'm laying down on the ground. I, I don't got no fancy shop. Don't need no fancy shop. It would be nice to have one with a heater and a lift, but I don't have it, so we make do with what we have. Anyway, due to my health issues, I'm probably gonna be selling most of these toys and get something a little easier on me in general to take care of and do maintenance and whatnot. But I I know I haven't been around to show you any interesting videos lately, but uh, hopefully we'll get this one done here pretty quick, and then we can get some fluid in it and take it for a test drive and see how it's going to work. Hopefully that solves all of our problems. I do need to uh, clean up under here a little bit and uh, get some grease in those grease certs. Anyway, I'm going to stop it right here. Maybe we'll show you a little more in a bit. Well, we are almost done. Got the new ram mounted. It mount, you mount that side right there. You put the hoses back on. And you start it and stop it. Start it and stop it. Until you bleed the system back out. Get all the air out of it. I know this video is a little crooked. Sorry about that. But uh, once you get it bled, then you got a little cap. You can just kind of see it there. You take that cap off, and there's a nut underneath. And you have to adjust that. And there's videos on here. You adjust that until the ram doesn't move anymore. And it looks like I may have to tighten it a little bit. It looks like I may have a little bit of a leak still. Hopefully I don't have to change that line. But uh, once you get the the ram adjust or the valve and the ram adjusted, then you bolt it back up and I'll show you that bracket real quick. Just right there. And, and if you look, the valve's right there. So it's, it's really pretty simple. And yes, I've got it up on ramped. It's easiest to work this way. Well, 
I'm gonna end the video here. I appreciate y'all coming to look.